Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road and today I'm going to show you how to install a terra firma swing away tire carrier on an LR4, but it'll also work for an LR3. First thing we need to do is pull off this bumper cover, but in order to do that, we got to get the lights out. So I guess the first thing I need to do is get the lights out, then I'm going to pull the bumper cover off and we're going to dig into how to install the tire carrier. Cue the intro, I'll get to work. The lights are pretty easy to get out, just two Phillips screws here and here. And then you pull the light forward, they're held in with two little tabs on the other side. After that, we gotta disconnect the wiring, just a squeeze tab. Okay, inside the fender well, we're gonna to wanna to pull that Phillips screw out of the way. We're gonna to wanna to get rid of that pop rivet, that pop rivet, and wow, all the way over on the other side. There's another one. There it is, almost to the top. There's also whoop, a Phillips screw they are gonna to wanna to pull off down here and then we'll be able to pull that fender flare off. I'll get to work. With everything removed, you can simply just give it a little tug and one. Ooh, that's free dirt. Fender flare removed. We'll store that in here for safekeeping. With the flare out of the way, we gotta get another pop clip. Bumper cover is now free from the fender. Over here on the left hand side, you want to see what kind of wiring harnesses you have. Some of them have trailers, some of them just have the park sensor. You want to free those up so we can get that out of the way. This one's got a wiring harness. I'm going to wait, or uh, I believe it's a trailer harness. I'm going to wait until the bumper is a little bit more free so I can unclip that one. And since I'm here, pop this 10 mil. Next up, I'm gonna pop the other 10 mil and there's a bunch of Phillips screws underneath. We're gonna to wanna to pull those off. On the underside, there are four Phillips screws. One, let's see if I can shine some light on it. One, two, three, four. We're gonna to wanna to get those loose next. We are almost ready to remove the bumper cover. There is a few more plastic clips that we need to get to. We need to kind of balance. I'm gonna show you with the camera in a second, this little flappy piece and the tailgate to access those clips. Just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna pop this off and make it easy for everybody to see. If you've got a friend that can kind of balance everything while you get in there, you're gonna be doing better than me. I don't have any friends. All right, with the tailgate fully down, you can kind of see two of them. You move it up, you get full exposure. And then there's two more way at the end. One there and one there. They're a little bit difficult to get to, but some patience and a popper tool, you'll have it off in a jiffy. 
We are about ready to pull the bumper cover off. All I need to do is deal with these wiring harnesses that I couldn't get to. So I'm gonna gently move the bumper cover back, disconnect the harnesses, pull the cover off, and set it on my bumper stand. We'll be ready to move to the next step. All right, good news to me, bumper cover is off. This is an aftermarket trailer wiring harness, and that's why I was over here struggling a little bit. So without that, it would have just been these two. And generally the factory clip for the trailer harness is right here, but they had screwed it to the side. So no big deal, we got it done. Now it's time to get your gloves on and get ready to cut. On to the cutting portion of this video. What we're trying to do is install the main frame for the swing away you can see that it kind of goes right here on the bumper. Looks like that. What we're trying to do is notch enough of this out of the way to allow for the swing away portion to fit and also give us a bolting point on the top. I'm going to mark it up. I'll bring the camera in, try to give you guys some quick measurements to get an idea of what needs to be cut. And then I'm going to solve all this. You can use a whole bunch of different tools to cut it. I happen to be a Picasso with a Sawzall, so that'll be my choice. I'll get this cut off, installed, but first, the measurements. Okay, looking at the instructions online from Terra Firma, they're showing you the basic pattern of what needs to be cut out. Took my tape measure here. Right from the end, I am at two and a half inches. Don't want to go too far forward to this little flat area, because that's about where the first bolt location is going to be. So we want to be a little bit to the outside of that. That's where I got my two and a half. I'm going to cut it straight around, straight down to here. And then we want to leave this top portion available for other bolt locations. So I'm going to come out right to where it curves, cut over, and then I'm straight in line. So I'm going to cut up here and cut down there, avoid cutting the, it's already got a hole in it, so why not just utilize that hole? And then once we're at the bottom, straight cut off, I'll get to work. With the little piece at the end cut off and out of the way, it's time to install the swing away bracket. Uh, I recommend just hitting everything with a little bit of spray paint. Cleaned up the whole bumper here, as you can see. I'm gonna put this on, and I already brought my friend Mr. Mallet. It does not want to go on real lovingly. So what I'm going to do is install this bolt back here so I can cantilever it and then tap it in place with the mallet. Once it's in place, I can mark and drill that first hole. That'll hold everything in. We can drill the rest of these bolt holes out get them installed. All right, I'm taking one of the bolts and a washer and I've aligned this bracket to allow it pretty much fall in place like so. The issue I'm having is I, I can't reach this bolt. So I'm gonna utilize a magnet on a stick get that nut into place, start to tighten it down by hand. Once it's there, I'll be able to get a wrench in and hold it. But right now we're just trying to get it started so we can go over there and get the other hole. Now my bolt is in there. It's not cinched down yet, but it's somewhat snug. I can use my favorite mallet. pop it in place. The reason we're having trouble is the way the bumper is shaped. It's almost like a little spring on the bottom. So we want to just kind of give it a little bit of love, get it in. I'm going to drill this out, put the next bolt in, then we can move on to the bolts in the front and the bolts on the bottom. I like a lot of bolts on this. With the two upper bolts in place, not snug down yet, I'm going to move on to the ones on the face. One, two, three and four. I'm going to tighten those down, cinch everything up. Then we've got 
Some more down here on the bottom, two more. I'm gonna drill those out, slide in the secret plate. I'll show you when I get to that point, and then we're able to tighten everything down. Uh, before I get started, I should have said it earlier in the video, I am using a 5 30 seconds drill bit. Next up on our little adventure is to install the four bolts across the front. Terra Firma, blah, 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 can't even talk. Terra Firma provides you a plate with a bunch of nuts welded to it. So we just gotta slide the plate in, start the nut. I'm gonna start out here and then I'll wiggle it and catch that one. Gently align all of them, make sure they're started. Then we'll run it in, tighten this real good to the face of the bumper. Then we'll be able to drill the holes underneath and they'll be in the perfect location. Oh boy. With our bolts all in place, nice and tight up here, it's time to drill two more holes on the bottom. This unit has four holes here, and I'm under the impression that it is for different markets. So if something's in the way, you can use either one of the holes. In our market, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna drill out the ones farther back, give me the most bite, and then I'll slide in that nut plate, just like we did before, tighten everything down. All right, moving right along. I had a little bit of a stumble on the bottom. I was struggling with that plate, trying to get my fingers in there. But uh, that's a me problem, not a swing away carrier problem. Everything is tight on the bottom. Everything is tight on the face. I'm going to tighten up the top two bolts. And then we're going to drill and install two more bolts on the top, completing this part of the job. On to the arts and crafts section of this install. You're gonna have to cut out the templates. One goes here on the corner. You're cutting out for the swing away here. And the other one goes right here next to the park sensor. We're gonna cut out for, I don't think you can see it behind the camera, the uh, locking clip pin holder thingamabob. So I'll bring the camera in. I'll show you how I do it. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna use a Dremel and I'll probably cut it short, test fit it a bunch of times, make sure it's there. I'll get to work. What we do is we're cutting out the little park sensor. So we can align it. There's a little blue line here to help you align to the, the plastic. And they want to drill this one with a 10 mil hole. And we want to cut out that whole section. So I'm going to take a tiny little drill bit and drill in each one of the corners. And I'm gonna get my Dremel and Dremel that all out. And that one's pretty easy, just a 10 mil hole. All right, with the little front piece cut out over here, it's time to move to the swing away portion. I've cut out the center. It says to drill with a 52 millimeter hole saw. I'm fresh out of those. So I'm gonna do a caveman style for this video. We are going to Dremel this circle. Rest assured, there is a beauty plate that we put on it to help cover up any little, and I mean little, they don't give you a ton, but if you make a little mistake here or there. So I'll get to Dremeling. I'll test fit it a bunch of times and We'll move on to the next step. We are so close. Next thing to do is, um, actually we should have done a little bit earlier. I did, when I was dremeling the fright, the, the face of this bumper is to remove some of this foam padding. It's that simple. We'll get it out of the way for the swing away swing portion. I'll snap this in place. Hopefully everything lines up. I already tested it, everything lines up. So I'll snap in place and then we'll just go in reverse and start bolting everything back up.
are in the home stretch. Next thing to do is cut out the little sticker. They give you a template, you cut it out, you stick it to the little oopsie plate or vanity plate. And we're gonna do this one, and this one here. Stick that on. That's on it. With that done, I can now set on the actual swing away itself. I'm gonna do this next, then I'll set that on. We are moving right along. Quick side note, there's a bolt and a large washer that holds the tire carrier down. To get the bolt started, it's a little bit easier to maybe wiggle the tire carrier up a bit. You're supposed to put some Loctite on it so it doesn't come loose. That way you don't hit a bump and have your tire carrier leave the vehicle. All right, that's been done. It's such a hard camera angle, I'm not gonna be able to show it. It's a little bit tight under there. You may wanna loosen the bumper cover up. Next on our list is the latch, and it's got a lot of bolts. You're gonna love it. Here we are at the what I'm referring to as the contraption portion. So the strut bolts to the driver's side. It goes with these two little Allens and the nuts. That's gonna be our strut bracket. The rubber bumper is, there's a threaded hole that it goes into. The template did not work for me. I, knowing this, would have put a bolt in there, put the bumper cover on, kind of banged it a little bit with uh, a mallet to mark where the bolt was and then drilled there. Uh, my hole was about here, so we moved it over, no big deal. The bumper covers up a lot of that. Now on to the handle. All right. All right, hopefully this makes it a little bit clearer than the instructions. There's a multiple views of it, but you're gonna start with that little hook piece. Get that through here. Then on the two C-shaped pieces, you're gonna put one of those in. Oh, on top of the hook, I'm sorry, is washer on the bottom, hook, washer on the top, and then the longer of the Allens, the C-piece, does not have any washers, it just sandwiches the other side of the hook, comes around, the handle. You want the middle hole on the handle for the C, and the longer bolt gets longer bolt, spacer washer, the farther point on the handle, and then the spacer on the bottom. Once that's all together, you are in good shape. I'm gonna do a couple of different angles because I think this is the most difficult part of the job, just getting this little handle thing together. Are so close I smell victory next up I'm gonna do the gas strut we did some other things first compared to the instructions but it's way easier to move this without the strut on it comes with these little tabs one screws right down in here you might not be able to see it but trust me it's right there if I was as good as I think I am I'd be able to screw it in without looking Aha. and the other one goes right here tighten that down with a nut I'll get that on, and then all you have to do is pop the strut into place, and the strut will be on. We are finally at the last step. The tire carrier adapter bracket thingamabob. Terra Firma, whoop, Terra Firma gives you a lot of flexibility as to where you want it. I know this car is getting approximately a 1050. I'm gonna go about there. You just put in the uh, remaining hardware, bolt it up, tighten it down, and throw the tire on. My last time for this video, hyperspeed. And 
there you have it. This one is not super difficult, but it's very time consuming and it's tedious almost. You can be patient with everything. So many clips to take apart on the bumper and then the tire carrier, everything kind of needs to be aligned perfectly before you tighten stuff down. Uh, yeah, and, the, and our contraption there, it's little things like that. None of it's difficult. It's just time consuming. So go into it knowing that. But in the end, you have a very factory looking tire carrier. And on that, guys, I'll see you on the next one.